just for reference, let's go ahead and mesh this. Because I want to show you, and this is something I really recommend you do, don't solve on your first run, just mesh. So you uncheck the, the solve button, let it run, and what you're looking at is kind of the top line number, the total cells. Um, at this point, I'm going to try to sort of cheat and shortcut the system by leaving my a lot of my my uh, geometric complexity in the model, but then just telling it not to mesh it. Right? That does mean the mesher is going to take a little longer because it has that geometry to mess with. But the idea is the hope is that the mesh sort of just glosses over it and it doesn't really worry about that. All right, so if we take a look at that, uh, we can look at it in the solver window, or we can look at the summary, but total cells is uh, 596,000, so almost 600,000 total cells that we have to deal with. And that solve, or that mesh, took quite a bit longer than I would like it to. Uh, let's take a look at the mesh. Now you can show your basic mesh here, you can go to this mesh node and show it, but my personal preference is to just create a cut plot because I just it makes it easier to explore. So what you do is it's a mesh plot, hit the detailed preview, the little eyeball here, and then you can drag it up and down and try to figure out what's going on. Now, let's, let's look at kind of the front of this contactor here. And you can see it's got a lot of refinement right around the edges of these holes, right? In fact, if we look at the basic mesh, the basic mesh is here. That's a one, two, three, four, five. So it went to the full level five all around all these little features. So one solution to lots of refined edges is to clean it up like I did on this one where it removed all those slots but that's just not always feasible. What I want to do is tell the mesher to just ignore boring little areas like this that don't mean anything. All right, so that's a problem I want to fix by, by reducing the complexity there. Let's take a look and see how it resolved around these slots. And I've got one, two, three, four, barely five. But look, it's not doing it because of the uh, narrow channel refinement. It's because of the small solid feature refinement level. The channel refinement did not achieve its goal. So not really where I wanted it to be. I did not achieve what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that, and I'm going to go fix this. And I, I really do. I recommend you do this and clean this up. It's going to save you so much time down the road as you go. So let's do this. Let's say if I was to increase the channel refinement level, that would fix the ability to refine these slots at a higher level. But remember what I said, a channel is two opposing faces with a gap in the middle. Every slot, every opening, every hole, every you know gap in between any of these connectors those are all considered channels within the eyes of flow simulation. So increasing the refinement level for channels is likely to give us the same result as that small solid feature and just give us all kinds of more problems. So I'm going to leave it at two. Two at least got us close. But for advanced refinement, I don't want small solid entities refined to high detail. I'm trying to just get overall macro flow, meaning the, the action is mostly going to happen in the areas where there aren't any solids. So I'm going to turn this down. And in fact, I'm actually going to turn it off. I'm going to set it to zero for the tolerance and the small solid features. But what I am going to do instead is I'm going to refine all fluid cells one time. So again, the, the area that I care about is open areas which would theoretically be at a refinement level of zero by default. Let's kick that up to one, turn all the other ones down, and I'll click OK. 
Now that does not necessarily give us what we want as far as refinement in our mesh, or our, our, I'm sorry, our, it doesn't give us what we need for refinement in our lids. So I'm gonna create a local mesh, right? Local initial mesh. And with the local initial mesh, I'll just grab all my lids and say that everywhere there's a lid, I want, let's not go five, let's go seven. And you can use up to three characteristic or three refinement levels to get there, to achieve that number seven. Uh, component control. Remember I went in and I, I uh, excluded those little uh, dummy wires on those flanges. If you create a local mesh or a rotating region or uh, an internal lid or anything like that, you have the option to disable the solid components as you're using it. This I don't want to do. I want to say I want these to be included so that I can use them as boundaries and then use them as as uh, part of the enclosure of the model. So I do not want to disable these. But let's say for the sake of argument that I wanted to create a volume in here where I knew there was a lot going on and I wanted to refine that level independent of the rest. What you'll do is just create a dummy body, right? Just just extrude a block or a cylinder or whatever you want drop that sucker in there right through the middle of that area it's then going to be excluded from the component control and then you can use it to choose to refine your mesh more you can use it to uh, change uh, some settings and something you can use it as a as a filter a porous media whatever you want so let's run this one more time I'm going to manually tell it this is definitely needs to be mesh. Sometimes you change a mesh setting and it doesn't recognize it's new. So you want to make sure to check the box that says mesh to make sure that that thing gets remeshed and updates with, we got a lot less solid refinement level, but we got a higher refinement level only on uh, the lids. And this one's going to solve quite a bit faster because it's not going through and having to do refinements on every single face. And it, it, it flashed up there real fast, but basically, instead of 600,000, now I'm at close to 100,000. And if I show my mesh, you can see that everywhere in the open, it's got a better mesh than it did before. And if I come in here and I look at my lids, my lids have a much better refinement level there. Uh, these are actually refined along the walls because the basic mesh has to only refine by one level at a time. And so these guys had to be split so they could be split again. Uh, that actually uh, could be adjusted, but honestly, this looks pretty good, and I'm not seeing a lot of wasted effort around these areas of detail. So this right here, this is an efficient mesh that's ready to iterate quickly. And then once I'm done, I can go ahead and uh, you know, unsuppress and add complexity back in, knowing it's going to solve okay. Uh